All right, today we're gonna look at setting the air screw on your carburetor. This is a 2009 YZ250. And we're gonna make an adjustment to our air screw, which is this little guy right here. This is a, this is a good thing to know how to do in case you're changing your jetting from summer to winter or winter back to summer because you should always adjust your jetting especially if your weather conditions are significantly different from those two seasons so the first thing you should do is make sure that your carburetor is clean and everything else is serviced properly make sure you got fresh fuel in your tank use the recommended premix ratios use the recommended spark plug and the spark plug gapping make sure all that's recommended from your service manual and then warm up your bike for a few minutes until you feel the radiator nice and warm you should never make any carburetor adjustments until the bike is fully warmed up because once the bike does warm up it could change those settings even further so Make sure your bike's warmed up good. And we will come back and uh, show the difference in various air screw adjustments on your bike. Be right back. Right, we've got the bike warmed up nicely now you should make sure that the radiator cap is pretty warm to the touch like I showed you and we will be adjusting that little air screw which is this guy right here make sure you check your service manual for what is recommended as far as how many turns out from all the way closed down and mine is, there is a, almost a full turn out for mine. And it's typical for a lot of two strokes, about one full turn out. So make sure you refer to your service manual. And make sure your bike can idle on its own as well. A lot of people will tell you that your bike should not idle, that you should have to keep it running with your throttle. I personally don't go by that. I like to have my bike able to idle at least fairly low and then you can actually listen to how the bike sounds when the air screw is set properly or if you're if you have a too large or too small a pilot jet that usually will indicate how far out your air screw needs to be turned or not. And we're in late spring here in Georgia 80 degrees, you know, medium humidity. So use that information accordingly and every bike is different, but what we're gonna do is just look at how this bike sounds at various air screw settings. 
which is right in there. So let's fire the bike up and we'll go through some various sounds that the bike makes depending on how the air screw is set. How the bike was trying to die off as I was closing the air screw down. The bike should be just prior to dying off like that. Barely a quarter of a turn out just before the bike tries to die basically because if it's trying to die and your idle was set correctly the uh, the carburetor would be set too rich because your air screw is closed on closed off too far. And let's listen to the opposite if the air screw is turned out too far. Did you hear the difference when the bike was idling a little higher than normal? All I did was adjust the air screw. I turned it out another full turn and a half and the idle was picking up which means it's sucking more air through the carburetor which is not good. So don't always just adjust your idle if it sounds too high or too low. You might want to check the air screw as well right around one turn out or less is typical and if it's dying that means your air screw is probably turned in too far or your idle is not set right and your o-ring inside the air screw is also possibly degraded or missing even there is a small o-ring inside there so check those two while you're adjusting idle and uh, you'll get a lot better throttle response if your air screw is set right per the conditions you're riding in.
So the way I set mine up is I, once I get the idle set the way I want it, then I'll adjust the air screw to make it fine tune that idle. It'll drop down just another tiny bit when I think it is set correctly. The idle will start up kind of high and then it will drop down another tiny bit. But if your idle is very erratic or it will not idle at all, that means your carburetor might need servicing. That could mean your spark plug needs changing. Make sure you use the correct temperature range for your spark plug as well as your stock jetting. Always refer to your service manual, but there's some basics on setting your air screw. 2009 YZ250